Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your non-raw files like JPEGs and TIFFs from Adobe Lightroom into Topaz Photo AI. Now we have another video that walks through how to get raw files in particular from Lightroom to Topaz Photo AI, so I recommend checking that out. So let's start with a JPEG file. Now there are two ways that you can get a JPEG or a TIFF from Lightroom to Topaz Photo AI, and it really depends on your intent. So I'll just show you the two ways right now. The first way is by going to File, Plugin Extras, and selecting Process with Topaz Photo AI. And this is the same uh, process that you would use for sending a RAW file. There's another way by right-clicking, going to Edit In, and then selecting Topaz Photo AI. And I actually recommend this process because it gives you more flexibility. And the reason for that is, let's say with a JPEG file, you go ahead here and you uh, make some adjustments. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo everything here really quickly. And let's just say that I, you know, open the exposure and a apply a little bit of, a, of an S curve to add some contrast to the photo. Uh, maybe I'll add some vibrance. And so I've made some edits and you can see if I press the backslash key, that's the original JPEG and this is my edit. If I zoom in, you can see all of this noise that is affecting the photo. And so now is a good time to get rid of that noise and we're gonna to use Topaz Photo AI. If I were to use the file plugin extras workflow, it would not send the image with the edits that I made. It would treat it almost the same way as a raw workflow. Because raw is non-destructive, you can never send any raw file with edits made to it to another application. It will always send the original. So if you want to send a non-raw file like this JPEG with edits made to it to Topaz Photo AI, you'd want to right click, go to edit in, and then select Topaz Photo AI. And the reason for that is this screen here. This screen, this dialog box gives you a few options. The first is uh, the most important, and that is the ability to edit a copy with the Lightroom adjustments. So that will take into account any of the changes you make. It'll bake it into a duplicate file with those changes and send it to Photo AI. You can also just send a copy of the original or the original itself. Those are your three options. You also have some other options here in terms of the file format. So you can do TIFF, PNG, or JPEG. You can choose the color space that you want to work with, as well as the bit depth and the resolution. And when you're ready to send the photo to Photo AI, just click on the edit button. Now that we're in Photo AI, the first thing that I always do is review what Autopilot has found and what it's doing. Autopilot is the hallmark feature of Photo AI. This is where we will automatically identify any issues with your photo, and more importantly, apply the most appropriate models and settings to get rid of those issues. And so what Autopilot has done is it's found that there is a lot of luminance noise. And so it automatically applied a noise reduction model with the most appropriate strength and the type of model to use. So you can see in our split view, here's the original and you can see all that noise. And as we swipe over, that noise is removed, but we retain all of that important information, all of that edge detail. And so that's really all I need to do here. It was, I, I had nothing to do. I just sent it to Photo AI and Photo AI took care of it. Now, all I have to do is click on the blue Save to Adobe Lightroom Classic button to return back. Now that we're back in Adobe Lightroom Classic, you can see here is the original JPEG that we sent with the edits. And then this is the duplicate with those edits baked in. And if we compare the two really quickly, you'll see just how much more of an improvement there is. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see a bit of the surrounding area. All that noise surrounding is gone. And you just are left with a clean image with the edits that you made. Now, what about if you want to work in some sort of a batch workflow with mixed formats? And what I mean by that is, let's say you want to edit this JPEG here, which you can see is also suffering from a lot of noise, and this raw file, which has noise as well. If you're working in a batch workflow where you have a raw file and any other file formats or multiple raw formats, then the recommendation is to select those images, go to file, plugin extras, and then process with Topaz Photo AI. In this workflow, you will not be able to send over any versions of your images that have 
edits made to it. It will only send either the originals or a copy of the original. And you'll see if I click here, it will ask you for the JPEG, this is specifically referring to any non-RAW file. It'll ask you, do you want to send a copy of the original or the original? RAW files will always have the original sent and it will be converted to a DNG when you save it back. And that's how you would send a batch process where you have at least one raw file and any other file formats from Lightroom Classic to Topaz Photo AI. And if you want to learn more about Topaz Photo AI, just head over to topazlabs.com. Thanks a lot.